Good morning, afternoon, and or evening. This is Derek Professor Silly Gaming, and we're going to play level five of, uh, what is this, Outer Worlds? Outer Worlds. I um, don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering the name of this game. Uh, last time we returned to Edgewater, we met up with uh, the guy who was in charge of running this, this, this uh, town and cannery into the ground. Terrible leader. He's going to be disciplined and uh, imprisoned, which is probably good. Um, a good result for him. I got dangly things on my outfit. A little crink in my in my one uh, one hose. Um, don't judge. Um, so yeah, we apparently that he left guards, and so we're gonna have guards to deal with in here somewhere. Why is there a red flashy gun? Is that because I'm just like lowish on ammo? Alright. Parvati, I think maybe you should uh Oh god! Okay, so uh, that did not go well. Right, uh, we're gonna hit continue, and we're gonna try that again. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of guards in here. Okay, Parvati, uh, here's the plan. We're gonna not die. Maybe we should be sneakier. Yeah, yeah, shush. See, this would be a nice place. This would be a nice time to have like a grenade of some sort. Here they come. No well, don't just yell. Ooh, ooh, get out of the way of that. Oh, I shouldn't do those two things at the same time. All right, how many do we have left? What? You're behind us. Oh, it's you. Okay, well, I'm glad you're... Well, let's take Reed's key, not that button. Okay. Spacer's choice is now repulsed. Okay, well, I mean, are we surprised? Frankly. Okay, that went way better. Um, yeah? I think so. Parvati, what do you think? That went better? Uh, we're both alive? What all we got down here? I feel like that may have been a little too easy, frankly. All right, I've got a power regulator. Uh, assault rifle, uh, much, uh, much more useful weapon uh, for that sort of thing. What's over here? Um, well, yeah, steel all. I guess no, no gross incompetence imprisonment for you, Reed. Jackass. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, 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 oh okay. No, no, let's just go. Sealed. Let's just put the gun away. And are they all hostile too? They look like they might all be hostile too. That's a whole lot of red, and they're kind. Of, uh, let, da, 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 let's just move away from them. 
Nope. I'm not looking to kill the entire town. All right, we're going to come out here. We're going to immediately turn right and run along the wall. Keeping an eye out for, of course, landmines. Four hundred and forty three meters. Is that my ship? Am I going the wrong way around? Am I going the long way around? I feel like I might be going the long way around. That's okay though. Um, very pretty sky, night sky. Oh, texture pop in there. Another door inside. That's probably like their like little spaceport. I can pick that now, but I'm not gonna. I'll save that for when I like really need to pick something. I mean, I probably should go back and check on the folks back at the greenhouse. Um, but let's get the ship up and running just in case first. Are you guys going to be a... You guys are going to be a problem. Um, I don't feel bad about any of that. If I hold the button, ah, yes, if I hold the button, I can just choose the weapon. That's that's better. And it even kind of pauses. That's that's uh, that's good to know. All right, well, let's just go over the hill. No, that's not the button I want. the ship. That residence. The unreliable. Not what you want to call your vehicle. I mean, if it's a if it's a name that kind of came like later, like haha, -ha, that's funny. But it also can be is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh, <laughs> listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but. That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Uh-huh. Yeah, nothing's stopping you from, uh... From, uh... Just, uh... I mean, what, are they, uh, what, what will they do? Will they, will they send, like, bounty hunters after you, or...? I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Uh, ab abs absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> Reed is dead, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I never got along with Mr. Thompson, but... I don't think he deserved to die. Self-defense. 
He tried to do his best. Yeah, and then he tried to shoot me in the back. Um, yeah, he threat. Yeah. I suppose that's fair. You were just acting in self-defense and all. That's what I was just I saying. I had my misgivings about Miss McDevitt and the deserters, but you took pity on them and sent power to their garden, even though you knew Mr. Thompson would hate you for it. All this time, you've been determined to get your regulator back, get your ship up and running, and cut a path out of this place. And well, I want it. Glad to have you along. Pick a, pick a cabin. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Alright, she's, uh... She's pretty damn happy. <clears throat> okay. First things first. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Okay, that's a little little what dark. Can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? I do not. Oh wait, yes I do. <laughs> I do. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. All right. And I did explore the ship. I didn't keep it all in the video. Uh, so I do remember finding the, uh, the workbench. Oh, it's right there. All right. All right. Let's just, let's just do what we're going to do. I don't entirely understand which of those weapons I actually have and, what I, and what's going on with that. So, power regulator, achievement, ticket to anywhere. We have a ship. <clears throat> Before I talk to Ada, all right. It's botched because Reed's the one that gave me the, the, the quest. I thought that's fine. I uh, didn't find Zoe, that's fine. Um, Yeah, it doesn't say that I have to go back and speak with them. What can I do for you, Captain? All right, I've installed the power regulator. Our systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Sounds good. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Against all odds. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Hey, he's that guy that woke me up. Um, good. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Eh. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. I assure you. Any drippage I have is perfectly natural. Um, also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy hmm. little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, so 
let me get this straight. There's food shortages, but we're going to wake up all the colonists so there's more people. Um, but then I'm, I'm guessing like Marxist revolution, and then and then everybody's fine. Is that roughly what we're talking about? Um, let's see. Little right choices here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'll go have a group with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. That does sound useful. Uh, thank you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. Mm. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Uh, got it. Um, captain's quarters first. Now, I think he's being a little bit hyperbolic. Um, yes, the board is interested in, in filling your own pockets, but if they drive the colonies completely into the ground, then, uh... What is Sam? Okay. We'll leave Sam alone. These look like captain's quarters. Okay. Cool. Pretty. All right, what do we got? Holographic Shroud. Holographic Shroud projects a disguise on you and your com and your companion, which gives you access to restricted areas, provides you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise would result in being attacked on site. And considering what we just went through with the guards, that would have been useful. We have a terminal. Let's search term Sam. Uh, you've discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical. Would be difficult to get it up and running. Suds steeper. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been delayed. I mean, having it spray the enemy with suds would be funny. Um, I now do not need to ask Ada, Ada about Sam. I just need to find the acid steeper. But again, I think spraying them with suds, it might just distract them long enough for me to shoot them in the in the face. And that's it. All right, we've got some new. Obsidian Skull. Well, apparently I just have Reed's hat now. Should I put Reed's hat on? We're wearing that. All right. Nothing in the bin. We got a bed. What does sleeping do? Let's sleep for six hours and find out. Resting in a bed is relaxing and moves time forward. In supernova difficulty, you can only rest in the bed in your ship. Make yourself at home, Captain. I already did. Okay. Okay. So, where can we go? We got Tartarus is locked. Groundbreaker. Oh, there's a little green thing right there. Okay, I got it. I got it. I figured it out. Um, yes. Hey, there's a little ship flying over to the other little ship. Got it. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Okay. Hold on. Oh, there's my hat. And let's just compare. Oh, he's got four stars next to it. Um, armor four, armor three. Stealth plus five, tech plus five. I don't need the tech plus five, frankly. So.
so riot control armor. It, it looks better with the hat, too. Um, so yeah, this will be what we look like now. Can we talk? Uh, bye, Parvati. What's up? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean... I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borsten beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Okay. Yeah. We can... We can do that. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No. All right, Parvati is our only companion choice, so... Did I pick her? I hope I picked her. If not, I'll just swing back and get her. Um, oh, put the gun away, dude. Yeah, there she is. Excellent. All right. Well, this place looks big. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Uh-huh. It's okay. That's not the point. This happened just not that one of my workers. All right, customs. That looks like where we need to go. Oh, skill and perk points available. Level six. All right, well, I guess this is what we're calling it. Uh, excellent. Um, well, then let's come back over here, and then we'll explore this more thoroughly next time. Character. Okay, ten points available. All right, we are not putting stuff into tech anymore because Parvati is very handy. Uh, I could just... I mean, so the, the hat's giving me... Plus seven dialogue skills. Okay. Um, so in that case, we're going to put three into leadership. Like that. And then... Um, oh, wait, no, it's dialogue, not leadership. Um, so those scores next to it are what it's being boosted to. Yeah? I'm getting another point somewhere else, it looks like. Got it. So, if I did that, my persuade with the hat and everything is 50. Which ain't bad. And it's almost 40 on its own, which is going to give uh, additional bonus to coward duration. That leaves me to... I'm going to put him into leadership, I think. Um, yeah? Is that the play? I think that's the play. Dialogue and leadership. Um, screw... I mean, I survived that last combat thing, so it's fine. Um, apply. And looks like I got some perks. Okay. Maximum carrying capacity. We're putting it into toughness. Oh, and you can put multiple ones into some of these, it looks like. Or No. You just it just had to be permanently locked in. Excellent. That'll make me healthier. I think we're good. Alright. You have a great rest of your whatever. I will see you on the other side. And ta-ta.